Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I use the software known as ZDSoft. Z, D, as Z as in Zebra, D as in David, soft. Video recorder, screen recorder, actually. ZDSoft at ZDSoft.com. Ladies and gentlemen, had to reinstall it because there was a technical glitch that is as a result of me. But it's back on, okay? The Administrative Office of the United States Courts. This may not mean nothing to many of you. Many of you may not even have ever recognized this building in Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, the Administrative Office of the United States Court. See this hole right here? This is Arimathea, Artemis, Justice, Diana. This is that hole. Okay? And she's there guarding the gates of justice. Now, Administrative Office of the United States Court, most of you guys don't understand what this organization is. It says that they help to administer the affairs of the court. Understanding the federal courts, Administrative Office of the United States Courts, pay, pay attention. Understanding the federal courts, that's one statement. Administrative Office of the United States Courts, these are not, these have nothing to do with each other. Administrative office is part of the executive branch. Go ahead. Go take a look at the Act of Congress. It's not part of the judicial branch. They have no judicial power whatsoever. They are part of the executive branch. Notice what they say. This publication was developed by the Administrative Office of the United States Courts to provide an introduction into the federal judicial system, its organization and administration, and its relationship to the legislature and executive branches of government. The Administrative Office... The Judicial Branch Central Support Agency, see, they're the Judicial Branch Support Agency, agency. All federal agencies are a part of the executive branch. You don't believe me? Go back and look at that agency with holdings. Let's see if we can pull that up real quick. So I can show it. Wait, I already had it pulled up. Dag nabbit. Let's see if it was here. Uh, no, that's not it. Let's see if it was here. I don't think this is it either. I already had it pulled up because I've already pulled the information off of the document, but I've restarted the computer, so it may not be readily available. So we're going to do, let's get rid of all of this. This is the Rod class. Federal. Uh-oh, I'm typing and it ain't letting me type. I said we're going to get rid of the Rod class stuff. We're going to talk about Rod later. Um, by the way, the Rod class case before the Supreme Court, we're definitely going to be talking about that. Okay, this is Gabiru. They don't do any tracking. They don't monitor your IP address and none of that stuff. Now, the rest of the government does, but they don't. That's why Google took its what you call it, off their system. So what I did is I made Gabiru my homepage so that I'm always able to go to Gabiru and get that information. Okay, but they do have an app for Android and for Apple. Okay, they have an app for Apple? They There's an app for that. Okay, back to Gabiru. Now, we're going to type in federal And with holdings, A G E N C Y A D D R E S S E S. Ladies and gentlemen, federal withholdings agency addresses. Okay, the reason why we do federal withholding because it's not a tax issue. It is a tax issue. It's not a tax issue. We're looking for a PDF. PDF! PDF. Mama, I knew a PDF. Mm-hmm. That mother just kept getting on my nerves. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Federal agency, income withholdings, and medical support. This is the one you want. Okay? Both are from the health and human services.gov. This is the one you want. It has the 
FIPSs and the FEINs, Federal Employment Identification Number, Employee Identification Number, Employer Identification Number, it said employee, apologize, I was tired, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, see, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, you see what I said, 4 o'clock in the morning, and it is 3.45 in the afternoon. I had to look at the clock. Didn't even look at the one on the computer. It's right here. Didn't even look at it. Also, right here. Didn't even look at it. This is the Apple clock. This is the Windows clock. Apple, Windows. All right. Office of Administration for Children and Families. Ladies and gentlemen, why would they have this list here? Because I have not been able to get this list from any other place other than this site right here. Why is this here? Oh. This is the document I'm working on. That's where I'm putting it at. But why didn't, oh, come on now. Why didn't this, let's see, I think, is that it? No, that's not it. Let's bring it out more. Okay, then it hasn't pulled up all the way. That's what it is. So that we can talk, so that you guys can understand something. The Administrative Office of the United States Courts is an administrative agency. Separation of powers prohibits it from acting as an agency of the federal government and be part of the pay attention judicial branch and the executive branch at the same time. There is nothing according to the structure of government of the United States that would allow such a thing to happen. Okay, what you're going to have to do, see all this right here? Uh... No, that's not what I clicked on. I'm going to click here because the last time I think I clicked here, contact information. Okay, because you see, they don't give you, oh no, uh, there it is right here, the matrix. See, the matrix, the matrix. Okay, it's a matrix, people. They let you know it's the matrix. I, I didn't say it. They said it. Okay, homie. They said it. All right, I got to go back here because this didn't take me to it. But I know the matrix thing did take me to it. So let's see if we can get here because I'll see you when you get there. All right. If you didn't know, you're going to find out today that the Administrative Office of the United States Court is the one that supplies the budget. And that's why I'm doing this video. It supplies the budget for the court. All of you who are paying filing fees, you need to bring forth your argument that, wait a minute, you receive your budget from the Administrative Office of the United States Courts, who receive it from the United States Congress. Please understand, I'm a taxpayer. You can only charge that extra fee to a non-taxpayer. I'm a taxpayer. Even if you are legally a non-taxpayer, you're still a taxpayer because when you buy food in a supermarket, it goes to taxes. When you buy gas at the gas station, it goes to taxes. When you have a cell phone, it goes to taxes. Because your bill, part of those bills are federal taxes. Don't take my word for it. Pay attention. Ladies and gentlemen, because of that, the courts are prohibited by law from charging you another fee. See, what they claim, this is what the courts have been doing. If you are supposed to pay the filing fee, that means you're supposed to pay the government and you haven't paid. So now you owe a debt to the government. Pay attention. The Administrative Office of the United States Courts. Now look at all the different divisions that's underneath them. United States Federal Courts, United States Federal Judicial Center, United States Judges, United States Sentencing Commission. These are all the EIN numbers for each of these agencies. Okay. It used to be that they were under the Department of Interior. See all of these, Department of Interior? But not anymore. They are their own department now, ladies and gentlemen. They handle their own payroll. You talk about a black ops budget. So, wanted to show you this so that you'll see it is a federal agency. It's not a division of the court system. Administrative Office of the United States Courts, these are administrative courts, people. They're not judicial. We, we ain't got time to be doing all that. Okay, hold on a second. We're going to show y'all. Let me show you the way. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take you back to that other browser. Browser, browser, browser. Okay, not this browser. I just installed that browser. Was it this one? No, we, we need to go here. I apologize. We need to go to that browser and we need to go to that PDF. We're going to go here because this is the PDF I want to show you. And this is a PDF. See? PDF. And I'm not going to zoom in. I'm going to see if it's going to let me show it to you. And it may not like y'all. Okay. Now we're here. And this page is blank, I do believe. Because there's so much information, it did take me a while to pull up a page before. So let's scroll down this way. All right, we were reading this. Administrative Office of the Court, they claim the judicial branch is civil. So if they were part of the judicial branch, it wouldn't have to say the judicial branch. It would actually let you know the Administrative Office of the Court is a judicial branch central support section of government. But they say it's a support agency. It's there to support the judicial branch. It's not part of the judicial branch. I actually wrote the, I think his name is Duff. He's a former judge and an attorney and all that stuff. Duff is the CEO. He's the director. Duff wrote me back and told me that they are not part of the judicial branch. That's right. Oh, by the way, pay attention. United States Supreme Court, the administrative Supreme Court. This is not SCOTUS. See, this is USSC. And let me show you something. Go back here. Is this... This ain't the document I need. This is the PDF, the same PDF that we're looking at right now. That's not what I want. I want this federal agency doc. Hold on, people. Okay, now we're going to go down to USSC. So that you'll see... It's an administrative agency, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a judicial court. It's not the United States Supreme Court. The USSC, United States Supreme Court, is an administrative court. SCOTUS is different. United States Postal Service, that's their EIN number. These are the people I'm going to be going after in a minute because they got on my last nerve and I done had it with them. Okay. Then you have the United States Senate, administrative agency. United States Tax Court, and remember all this was done in 1930, 1929, 1930, when they made them all administrative agencies. Oh, come on, let me get to the United States Supreme Court. Come on now. Office of the Inspector General of the VA Department. Uh-oh, I went too far. Where are you at? United States Senate, Postal Service. Huh. Tax court? Wait a minute, where's the Supreme Court? I don't see the Supreme Court, y'all. It's in alphabetical order. It ain't in alphabetical order now. Yeah, see, that's the and that's the United States, United States, United States Geo International Postal Senate. Should be right here. But it ain't. It used to be here. So let me do that. Control F. Because it's a Windows, I can do Control F. S U P R E M E. Supreme C O U R T. Coat. Let's see if it finds my Supreme Coat. United States Senate. Postal Service, I don't see Supreme Court. Ladies and gentlemen, it's trying to help me look, but it, we ain't finding nothing that say no so Oh, there it is, Supreme Court of the United States. There it is right there. USSC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a federal agency. It's an administrative agency. This is not SCOTUS. Okay? Look at that email, John A. Castello, 
at the DOJ. Now that's the Surface Transport Board, DOJ. Why would you contact the Attorney General to get in touch with the Supreme Court? Because it's an administrative agency. The Attorney General is an administrative agent of an administrative agency. This is the Department of the Interior, ladies and gentlemen, as I told you. The United States uh, Administrative Office of the United States Supreme Court used to be a part of the Department of the Interior. Where can you get this? You just type in the same thing I typed in. Federal withholdings. Let's go back to the beginning of the video. We saw me type it in. Just do it that way. No, leave me alone. All right. Let's get back to the point. We're going to talk about budget to prove to you that they've already been paid. You don't have to pay any filing fees. You just have to bring the right argument. Ain't nobody else going to be talking about this. Control F. Wonder Twin Powers. B U D G T. Budget or Bud Get. Hey, Bud, get on out of here. Budget. Judiciary budget. We're going to go to number 25. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we can go to the judiciary budget. Because that's what we're looking for. Judiciary budget. But get on out of here. So that's 20. Oh, I could have done it up here. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even see that. I wasn't even paying attention. 25. Hold on now. What? I know, I know some. No oh, I said 25. It just gave me 5. One of those best bottles to there, don't you know, Abby? Yes! I'll say, go say, press it, the door say, King say! That's a set, that's a set, that's a ocho, that's a nueve, vente. See, I know a little bit. Come on! 25. We got it, 25! Ladies and gentlemen, it is this information that I'm showing you right here. This document is from uscourts.gov forward slash sites forward slash default forward slash files forward slash understanding hyphen federal hyphen courts dot pdf it's available to you now i'm looking for budget i'm looking for budget i'm looking for budget wait is this page 25 i don't see a page number up there i see it up at the top of this yeah this federal judicial administration i don't want administration i want budget judiciary budget is what it said or was it 23 I thought it said 25, but I don't remember. Give it a second, y'all. It's a it's a large file. I'm going to put y'all on pause. I'll find it. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, it was page 25, but because there are four pages before the table of contents, we have to account for those. So it's actually page 29 when you're doing it this way. But if you look at the top, one second. Come on now. Show me the top. Gonna be a second, y'all, for it to catch up. Look at the top, say page 24, just above this, and then look at the bottom of this page, and it'll say page 25. All right, don't worry about it. We're, we're, uh, it it's too late. I don't want to see it no more. All right, fine. 24, okay? Now, taking your time showing the, the top. Judiciary budget. Now, there's some recognition that needs to be done. Y'all need to recognize. Y'all need to pay attention. They ask y'all for a filing fee. You need to understand this. In recognition of the constitutional separation of powers, pay attention. Can't be a part of the administrative branch and the judicial branch at the same time. Among the three branches of the federal government, Congress has given the judiciary authority to prepare and execute its own budget. Congress gave them the authority. Aren't the people supposed to be given Congress the authority to give them the authority? Then when did people say, hey, the courts get to take care of their own budget? But they do. They tell the court how much money they need every year. And Congress allocates a budget for the court. The administrative office, in consultation with the courts, the administrative office, in consultation with the courts, pay attention, not the same thing. This is a 
conjunction junction what's your function to separate things so you get it really okay the administrative office and the courts are not the same and with various judicial conferences committee prepare a proposed budget for the judiciary each fiscal year every year they do this y'all every year so you ain't got to pay no filing fees. They already paid. Congress paid their mother. Okay. The proposal is reviewed and approved by the Judicial Conference with an accompanying set of detailed justifications. By law, the president must include the judiciary proposed budget as part of the unified federal budget submitted to Congress each year. The president may comment on the judiciary budget request, but the proposal must be transmitted to Congress without change. Why? The president has no jurisdiction over judiciary. Now, the Congressional Appropriations Committee conducts hearings with, at which judges and directors of the administrative office seat judges and directors of the administrative office. Why didn't they just say judges of the administrative office? So judges and the director of the administrative office frequently present and justify the judiciary projected expenditures. Yeah, because they got to prepare for people like me showing y'all stuff like this. After Congress enacts a budget for the judiciary, the Judicial Council approves the plan to spend the money and the administrative office distributes the funds directly to each court operating unit and program in the judiciary. Individual courts have considerable authority and flexibility to conduct their work, establish budget priorities, make sound business, their businesses, people, decisions, they call it the business of the court, hire staff, and make purchases consistent with the judicial conference policies. See, they can hire staff, ladies and gentlemen. Make purchases. They already have a budget. They already have a budget, people. They already have a budget. If you go to the administrative office of the United States courts and pull up a copy of one of the budgets, you see that it covers everything. Staff, supplies, buildings, funds, all of that stuff. You are not supposed to be paying filing fees, people. Just, you need to understand this. This is the information you need to have on hand. I am doing a fee waiver. I am amending the fee waiver. As I told you guys, this is how I, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Ha, da, 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 da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Friday night, y'all. And I'm feeling right. The party's here on the west side. So I reach one party. I don't do 40s, y'all. I got I got a truck, but I ain't gotta go around them keys. Hey, you know he's faded? Alright. Let's uh hold on, y'all. We got we to gotta adjust some things. You see how big this stuff is? We're going to adjust this. We're going to make it all... Uh-oh, sorry. You see, those are some links. Those are actual links. You can click on them because I did that. I put them links there. Man, where them hot links at? I I'm hungry. I don't eat no links, y'all. I, I don't eat that stuff no more. No more meat. No more. I'm not a vegetarian. Let's make sure we understand that a lot of people think because I done cut that uh, carnivore, carn, 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 carnivore stuff out of my diet that I'm a vegetarian. I am not nobody's vegetarian. What I is is I have chosen that I don't want to be part of those chemicals anymore. And I don't want to be part of the killing of animals. Just that simple. Just that, just that simple, y'all. We're going to make this seven, okay? Number seven. The reason why we're going to make it number seven because I don't want it all the way at the bottom of the page. And we're only doing this to highlight the fact to let the court rebut it because, see, they have this rule that you have to rebut their junk with a preponderance of evidence to the contrary. So what I did is I put the information in, letting them know that we're rebutting their junk with a preponderance of evidence to the contrary. Okay? Because... This is how we do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this video. This is just letting you know that filing fees, y'all need to be challenging that stuff. 
you need to be doing a constitutional challenge on that and bringing this in to substantiate your constitutional challenge. I didn't show you what to do. Now it's up to you to figure out if you want to do that. You know what? I can do an adjustment here because there are two links. So we're going to take you and bring you up there. Okay. See what we did that right there, right, right, that, that there. Okay. And then we're going to take, well, we can leave this one here because watch this. We're going to go here, put this one. Uh oh. Yeah, I want to do this and we're going to, where's, where's my hand? No, it didn't do it. We got to do the hand. Talk to the hand, dude. Talk to the hand. Hold on. Hold on. No, that box ain't supposed to be popping up. Get that box out of there. What that box doing over there? Yeah, that box ain't supposed to be popping up. I got to do this, y'all. We got to save. Okay. That box ain't supposed to be popping up. So in the actual document, when somebody has it, all they got to do is click there and it'll pop up. See, I don't know how to get it back to the way select comments. Let's see if that does it. No, it still pops this box up. And I don't want this box to be popping up while I'm typing. All right, let's do it this way. Nope, didn't do that either. I don't know how to get the link to work. Because I know it's a link. Because I did it. I already checked it. Everything. Ever, ever, everything. But now every time I check it, this box keeps coming up. And I don't know how to pop lock this box. Oh, well. Just going to have to let them, when they get it. Uh-oh, you're too close. Closer than close? Too close. Closer than low. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the very same information is what I suggest you do. I suggest you bring forth the very same arguments that you've already paid, that it is possibly double jeopardy. Not that it is double jeopardy, but that it possibly is double jeopardy. Remember, you don't want to make any definitive statements. You don't want to tell them you guys are committing fraud. You want to say, it be I believe you guys are committing fraud. You don't want to say you guys are crooks. No, I believe you guys are thieves. I believe that you guys are trying to steal from me. And the evidence appears to support my beliefs. That's how you want to talk to the court. Trust me, if you start making accusations but do so in a question manner by saying i believe or it is presumed or it is assumed that you guys are doing this or that you're doing that i promise you you'll have a lot more success with these ignorant administrative courts all right we'll do another video talking about how the courts are administrative and how we can prove they're administrative but for right now this is let's take some money out of their pocket See, ladies and gentlemen, when you pay filing fees, they use that money to take care of parties and to take care of all the extra stuff. Okay? That's what that money is used for. That's why it goes into the registry of the court. Why? Because there's no justification for it. Okay, that's why they can't account for the monies. To this day, they still have monies from me that they've never returned in cases that I've won. Never. So I'm going after the tax credits, ladies and gentlemen, because the tax credits are backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government. I can use those tax credits for other things, including bail. All right, I got to get in touch with those people who applied to SACOM. We had nine people apply. We're only accepting three of them. Sorry, the other ones didn't even come close. A lot of mistakes. And I, I can't afford mistakes with this this venture that we're doing helping people with tax credits so that's just to let you all know that we're on our game we have one individual who told us hey i wrote y'all an email telling you i ain't received nothing turns out the person did receive what they were supposed to receive and it turns out that satcom wasn't to blame they thought we had done them wrong it turns out they didn't follow the instructions that were on the website and now they have the information a year and a half after they were supposed to have done their job. Ladies and gentlemen, real quick, because I don't want to go past 30 minutes, you cannot contact me by my personal email for anything. You must do it all through the site because I will send you a nasty email. You come through my personal email trying to contact me on behalf of my company. That ain't going to work. Okay, just don't do it. It ain't worth it.
Okay. Save the children and women. Bye-bye.